Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How are you all getting on? So it's the end of January. Well, technically it's the 1st of February when I'm recording this. Um, and I have my January painting challenge that I've set up. I've got it all finished. I got my 9-man unit of uh, Liberators. Uh, it was 10-man units, but remember I'm wanting to do... That's it, just wreck the place there. I'm wanting to do this guy for a painting tutorial. So the leader guy will be done separate down the line eventually when I get working on him. Um, yeah, so I got the nine man unit done. I had a few trial and errors with the kind of shield and shoulder pad colour as you've seen in the update videos. But I'm really happy how it turned out. Um, make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video because at the end of it I'm going to be showing what I'm going to be doing for February's painting challenge. Um, to see what's lined up for that. So um, let's have a look at this guy. So as you know, there's not a whole lot of an update from the update videos, well especially the last update one. Um, I think yesterday and today I just had to get one more guy, uh, a few of the details finished, like the hammer on the shield, I had to get his base done, I had to finish off his hammer with the highlights and everything. Um, but I finally can look at him as a whole unit nearly, I think they look really nice together. Let me zoom in a bit more maybe. There you can get a better look of him. Um, now there is kind of two leader guys. So this guy, I did, you know, just a normal kind of paint job on him. Uh, just kind of as a, like a practice model for doing the tutorial with the other one. So, um, you know, the main difference is, oh, shit. Um, you know, he's in a better pose. There's a few little more details on him to be added. Um, I'm happy with how I got the cloth and the shield to come out. Because, as you can see here, with the kind of cloth prayer thing hanging over him. That was just Ushapti bone with a brown wash and then Ushapti bone over it. But I didn't like the the wash on it. Um, it was either not enough or it was uh, too much. So what I did was, for the shield, since it was the last part that I had to really do, instead of the brown wash, I went with a Reikland flesh head. And then I kind of highlighted up more with the Ushapti bone mixed in with a bit of white every time. And I think it turned out... Uh, better than I thought it would so that's the way I'm going to be doing it from now on Um, you know I did the head kind of I don't know what you call it his helmet kind of hair thing for the focus a little bit and there you go I just kind of did it to match the robe Um, I didn't go mad into details on the robe I just did a red uh, what was it corn red uh, base on it and then with a brown wash and I didn't really want to do much more than that because I'm really wanting this guy just to blend into the background I can always come back to him and highlight him up more if I need to um, and I got the hammer I did a little bit more of a different effect on the hammer Let's see if I can get this guy you see the highlights on this one are very vague they're not really you know you can see them but they didn't really pop that much so what I'll be doing from now on is I'll be mixing the hawk turquoise with a lot more white and as you can see, the highlights on the hammer there really pop out a bit more. So, um, you know, that's what I'll be doing on the next guy, you know, from now on. Um, so, yeah, that's the unit finished. I'm really happy to have them done. The bases, maybe I forgot to mention, it was just cork base with a bit of... What's that technical paint I had? Armageddon dust, which is basically you just spread it on it. And it just dries and then just paint over it. So, I think I like to do a bit more with the bases... Uh, going forward and um, I think I'd like to add a little bit of Nurgle's wrap maybe to see if it'll come out nicer on it you know just to give a little bit of a more effect I could do that down the line um, but uh, yeah so that's it January's finished thank god and um, you know for me getting like nine of these guys painted in a month because I basically only get like two days worth of painting at most so um, you know it's not that it's a lot for me to paint it's just I finally got a bloody unit finished, you know. I started the project and I finally finished it, you know. It's a bit of a rare one. So, uh, but I did. A, I started the schedule this year. Check it out on the blog. The links will be below. And, um, you know, I really want to stick to the schedule and I want to get it done. So, so far I'm on track. And hopefully I can get ahead in some of them. And if I do that, then it means I can get more stuff done. Um, so, for next month's painting challenge. 
just going to zoom back a little bit. Um, I was, so it's from the Age of Sigmar starter box set. So I was either going to do some corn guys or stick to the Stormcast. Um, and I thought the safe bet was to stick to some Stormcast. There's not many left. I have the three Judicators. Um, I have the three kind of flying angel looking guys. Uh, the Celestant guy on the Dracot and that kind of banner guy with the skull helmet. I think that's all. Hopefully I'm not leaving anything out. No, I don't think so. Just having a quick look there. Yeah, the banner guy with the skull helmet, he's pretty cool. So what I did was for February, I went with the Retributors, which are pretty much the, the look like, I don't have too much of fluff on them. I should look it up a bit more. But basically these guys look like they're the heavy hitters. They have the big two-handed hammers, um, and there's only three in the unit, you know. So it looks like they could really pack a punch. I love them big hammers. Hopefully I don't, or hopefully I can do a nice job on them. There's a bit more detail on their backpacks and everything here, you know. Um, yeah, so I think the safe fit was doing them because I have the paint scheme fresh in my head, um, and I know what to do. And plus with three of them. Then that gives me a chance to move on to some, like, as well as them, I can do uh, the Betrayal of Calc box set. So that's something that I'm wanting to really get moving as well. There's a quite a lot in that as well. So, uh, yeah, so make sure to leave a like, especially a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the Liberator unit. Um, I'm happy to have them done. Um, you know, I stuck to a schedule and I'm finally sticking to it. So hopefully I can do it for the rest of the year. Um, Yes, yeah, so let me know what you think of the Retributors. I keep trying to remember their name. I think these guys are really nice looking. I like the big heavy hitter. Heavy hitting. Like guys. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit, a like. hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Please leave a comment. That's what I really like to get. Is the comments. You know, plenty of feedback. And uh, make sure to check the blog. I'm going to get pictures of these up and everything. Uh, I'm going to try and keep that updated a lot more. Uh, check the links below for the Legion of Gams and everything. Uh, all that's been updated now, so make sure to check all that. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next update.